Welcome to the Real News Network, coming today from San Francisco. We're at the Momentum Conference of Tides Foundation. And joining us now is Donna Edwards. She's the Congressional Representative from Maryland. Thanks for joining us, Donna. It's great to be with you. So you got to run, so I'm going to make this fast. The Wednesday night speech President Obama is going to give to Congress on health care, the, the, the kind of gossip is, the drum beats are, that the public option might not be there, certainly not in a robust form. We might be hearing something about a trigger that someday maybe triggers a public option. Is that acceptable to you and, and your colleagues in Congress who up until now have been demanding a, a robust public option? Well, I'm looking forward to the President's speech on Wednesday. I think it's actually important for him to come out very strongly in favor of a robust public option. And there's no secret about what that means. It means an option that's connected to the Medicare provider network that provides real competition and accountability and lowers cost and uh, that doesn't have a trigger. I think it's actually really important for us to embark on a public option competing alongside the private plans from the beginning in order to make it work, in order to make it successful. Now, progressive Democrats uh, had a press conference a couple of weeks ago on the Hill and said, if it's not there, we're not going to vote for it. Are they going to stick to the, are you, I think you were part of that. Are, are, are you guys going to stick to your guns? Well, I mean, I've said both to the administration and also within our Democratic caucus how strongly I feel about a robust public option. I do think it is the thing that makes the system work. And I don't think it's enough for us to say that we're doing monumental reform by tinkering around the edge, uh, edges of um, insurance reform. And without a public option, to me, that's what it is. It's an insurance reform package. You know, I heard you in your talk tonight at uh, in Momentum. You were talking about how we can't just expect the president to set the agenda. Others have to. But on this issue, health care, he was elected in change we can believe in. Mm -hmm. Health care reform was one of the major pieces of his campaign. Shouldn't he have come out swinging on this rather than hand this over to the Senate? Well, I think, you know, we would be in a different place had the president come out and laid out, a, you know, a plan um, that he wanted the Congress to take up. Um, but that's not where we are right now. And I think part of the reality check for us is to deal with where we are. And uh, so I'm looking forward to the president's speech. But I have to tell you, I think it's incredibly important for the president to lead by supporting a robust public option. I think it's really important for all of those who came out supporting the president and believing in the kind of change that he would bring to this country that part of the reason that people came out so strongly and voted for him was really about health care reform. I know it's part of the reason that I was elected to the Congress and I think um, you know, we've got to get through this, and I think it's been a really complicated uh, August recess for us to work through in the town hall meetings and hearing from constituents. But now it's time for the president to lead, and it's time for the Congress to lead. Is there a danger, if he doesn't, that this optimism is going to dissipate and turn into its opposite? The optimism about his election, about change, a vision one could fight for. Where is the vision one can fight for in terms of banking reform? It's very hard for progressive Democrats to fight for the banking reform. It's very hard to fight for what's going on in Afghanistan. If the health care reform falls apart, it's very hard to fight for a trigger. At what point do people say, hold on here, this isn't what we signed up for? You know, these words, you know, trigger and all of this stuff, this is, you know, this is like, you know, in the in the weeds uh, for most people. People care about health care reform because their neighbors don't have health care, because they don't have health care, because they've had family members who've been challenged by insurance companies who are trying to take them to the bank. Uh, people care about health care reform because it's important to them, because they identify with it, because everybody has a story. And this is why for the president, it's not about all these other issues. It really is about leading on health care. And, um, you know, as I said, I'm looking forward to the president's speech, but I'm also prepared to say to the president and to say to our leadership and join with others in the Congress who support a robust public option that this isn't about politics anymore. It's about doing the right thing for the American people and a public option in addition to all the other great things that we're going to do with uh, uh, insurance reform is really, really important. So a bill without a public option, you'll vote no? I, you know, I, I traveled around throughout my congressional district during August and really, you know, challenged people in my district on this, on this issue and this question to try to get a read from them 
My district strongly supports a robust public option as I've helped to define it in the, in the district. And I got to vote with my district. And my district supports a robust public option, and so do I. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.